Hi, this is Mark. I'm going to show you how to call forward your telephones using the fix settings in your SV9100. Currently, I'm logged into a, a SV9100 CP10, uh, and there is a, it's the same as the CP20 for the most part uh, as far as programming goes. If you don't know your pilot number, it uh, by default it's one it's three nine nine nine. But if you've been tied with someone else using CCIS to another system, most likely it's been changed just so there's no conflicts. So in this case, um, to find your pilot number, that you, if you don't know it, go to uh, 1107 Department Groups, and in the CPC 10, the Department Group is 64. If you're using a CPC 20, the uh, Department group would be 128. Basically, it's the last one in both systems. <clears throat> in this case, this is default. My uh, department group 64. My pilot number is, I mean, my uh, pilot number is 3999. Again, CPC 20 would be 128, and it will still be default 3999. Again, if it's been changed to, because of CCIS, you'll find it right here. So once you've found it, you can go to your uh, settings here under 2409 call forwarding fixed settings. You can see there's no phones uh, looking at grid view. We see one phone is call forwarded, but uh, there are others that uh, are not. So we want to call forward, let's say the first two to voicemail using the fixed settings. So easiest thing to do is just go to form view. We're looking at our extension right here, 101 and using the pull down what kind of forwarding we want to use for the most part you want to use call forwarding busy no answer it kind of covers everything and then we'll put in our number 399 so we have here we have call forwarding on a no answer right here all calls um, call forward busy on both ringing. It's from a CO line, this is from an intercom line coming to my phone, and then I have a CO uh, when it's busy, when I'm busy, and my intercom is busy. So you can actually kind of do it per situation, but majority of people just use all these four here. And if you're not sure, just go ahead and add the last two. It doesn't hurt if it doesn't apply. So I'm going to hit apply. And now my phone is forwarded. And I'm going to just copy it to my second extension here. So I'm going to hit copy. I'm on my phone right here. I'm going to copy it to the second phone. And I'm going to just use all the same settings. I'm going to copy those over. Hit OK. Hit apply. And in this case, I need to upload that information. And hit the start button. And I use the uh, third one over. And once we're done here, complete hit closed and if I go to grid view you can see I've done these other extensions right here alrighty uh, if you use the uh, PC Pro or excuse me if you use Web Pro it looks basically the same you just have the form view like this and when you're making your changes of course they're live they apply automatically without uploading that's the only difference if you have any questions, you can just email us at the help desk. That's helpdesk at shawrock.com. It's H-O-T-R-O-K.com.